It's one of the deadliest forms of cancer, but a potential medical breakthrough could double survival rates. Australian researchers say they've uncovered a better way to battle pancreatic cancer. For Lucinda Watson, discussing her father's death is her personal form of therapy. My dad was a very strong man and I think we drew a lot of strength from his courage. I wanted to stay strong because he was being strong. Brian Watson was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2013. He died less than a year later. It strikes down the strongest people. You saw him physically deteriorate and that's a very hard thing to see someone uh, sort of fade, I guess, gradually fade away. Over five years, the survival rate for pancreatic cancer is just 7%. Most survivors die within a few months. It is the fifth deadliest form of cancer. But now, there's a glimmer of hope. We've targeted the Achilles heel of pancreatic cancer. So instead of tumour targeting, we actually targeted the surrounding tissue first, softened this dense tissue that the tumour needs, and then it actually responds significantly more to chemotherapy. The drug, already in clinical use in Japan, is administered before chemotherapy. In pre-clinical trials, the survival rate doubled in mice growing human tumours. And what that does is it makes the blood vessels within the tumour um, quite leaky so that the chemotherapy can get in better and kill these tumour cells um, better. Researchers believe that this new approach can one day be applied to other cancer treatments. But first, their focus is to ensure that this potential game changer for battling pancreatic cancer is realised. It paints a brighter future and it gives hope to those who need hope most. Small but significant steps in a long and brutal battle. Omar Dabaj, SBS World News.